dude. Ladies and gentlemen, you are not going to believe this tour bus. I think it's worth $1.7 million. This thing is absolutely unbelievable. It's got a killer living room where I do rad skateboard tricks and we record podcasts. It doesn't just have one bathroom, it's got two bathrooms. Six bunk beds, and every single one of them has electrical outlets and USB chargers. Full-size fridge, stocked with liquid death. A killer kitchen, and the master bedroom's just out of control. Frankly, the cost of renting this bus isn't that much less than we're making on tour. But hey, dude. We're feeling like rock stars and that's all that matters. We've made the leap to theaters. Thank you, Austin. Fuck yeah. Shit has been getting out of control. I went to Cancun for the Just for Laughs Festival. They put us in this crazy luxury resort. And as soon as I saw that hot tub jacuzzi on the balcony, I came up with an idea. I thought, let me get spread eagled butt naked in that jacuzzi. And let's turn the jacuzzi into a coconut. And then replace the balcony with the killer beach scene. That's for my new page where there are no rules and I can put up whatever I want and oh boy did I. But we'll get to that later. So, in Cancun, I hosted a butthole beauty pageant. <laughs> That was our first ever live podcast and it was so fun, we might do it again. But I don't expect to be doing this again. <laughs> but something else happened in Cancun that I want to do again more than anything in the world. I performed in an arena. And good God, was I tiny on that massive stage in front of that glorious video wall. I loved that so much. Thank you, Just for Laughs, for getting behind my comedy career, which is going pretty well in America, too. We got on this tour bus in New Orleans. Seeing this bus was a dream come true, but seeing my name on the marquee without the words sold out underneath it was devastating. And when the show started, we were 16 tickets short. So... We are 16 tickets short. And motherfucker, I just bought them. So put sold out on the left Was buying all of those tickets myself a douche move? Yeah. But thank God I did because I went around to see the sold out sign myself. I was celebrating with a bunch of fans and then I met this guy who offered me some advice. If you have to smoke crystal meth in front of your kids and don't want them to get a second hand high, put a plastic bag over their head. You can still blow smoke in their face if you want. If they die, like, guess what? There's more money for another bag of meth. You know what I'm saying? I think that guy's got star potential and hopefully we see more of him. But we had to go to Atlanta where the show was totally sold out and Scott Randolph was more terrified than ever of getting on stage. I don't want to perform that. Yeah, but the whole point of you performing is that you don't want to perform. That's I why it's funny. Put your hands together for Scott Randolph. 156, dude. Maybe I'm a bad friend, but I love forcing Scott to go on stage for five minutes, tell a couple jokes, and warn the crowd that in most every city this tour goes to, we have full-grown men pass out in the crowd. Like they did in Chattanooga, three of them. Are we okay with Scott? Is the medical emergency? Yeah, we're good. Woo! I don't want to be a trap Scott, but... Yeah! But sure enough, that guy was perfectly fine, just like all the other dudes who pass out on this tour. We went from there to Fort Smith, Arkansas, where the theater was gorgeous. And they let Lux cook us breakfast in this big kitchen downstairs. My baby! <laughs> We're having a fucking blast on this tour. So let me show you the bus. For starters, it's massive, okay? Now, Hey, Wendy, good girl. All right, so 
you see how big it is now. And then, whap! Boom! Pretty cool. But now the bedroom. Woo! Yeah! So there you have it, folks. Now, about that super uncensored, incredibly messed up stuff. It's waiting for you at stevo.com. And I'll have you know that this tour bus is going everywhere. So if you're in any of these spots, <laughs> then fucking get your tickets at stevo.com. Later, dudes. <laughs>